some racial conditions like there are maybe it's more affects in caucasians but uh, smokers are more affected in this uh, with this problem and also hypertension high cholesterol diabetics they are also prone to develop armd now amd uh, in a broadly speaking it is usually divided into two dry amd or drusen that we call and wet amd now dry uh, amd or drusen is again uh, divided according to the stages so there is an early intermediate and late dry amd now it uh, it is according to the progress of the disease so uh, what is a drusen drusen is basically uh, it's a tissue debris now uh, the- theoretically speaking what happens is when there is uh, uh, free radicals in the blood vessels choroidal blood vessels then the tissue debris would be released and gets accumulated in the re- subretinal layers and these drusens are formed now these drusens are what we call as dry armd so in the earlier stages the patient doesn't have any problem so it's usually diagnosed only when a patient comes to us for a routine eye checkup and when we do a retinal checkup then we see that there are some certain yellow gritty uh, substances which are deposited under the macula or near the macula which is the most you know vision sensitive part of the eye this will then again progress to the intermediate stage now how intermediate stage is detected now the patient will start understanding that there is certain kind of diminished vision in his functional vision he is seeing some kind of wavy images most of the times the straight lines start appearing wavy or crooked the colors are washed out and the evening time or when the light is not bright his vision is little compromised again from intermediate when it goes to later stage late stage of dry lucid it usually ends up having a wet amd or wet armd that is subretinal vascular membrane forms what happens is um, below retina is choroid now these choroidal vessels they form abnormal small weaker blood vessels which grow under the macula and initial stages they leak out blood vessel uh, they leak out fluid yeah because they are weak the walls are very thin so the initial stages they leak out fluid so that person will start having retinal edema near at, on the macular edema that we call and this is the time when he starts seeing wavy vision now